During our previous lesson, we discussed about the basic hand tools and its subcategories, the striking tools, turning tools, and gripping tools. At Automec, project making is a normal daily task. Students are expected to create different project outputs while utilizing different kinds of tools. Today, we will be talking about the laying out tools and cutting tools and processes. These are essential tools that are commonly used during project making at Automec Shop. Another main category of tools is the laying out tools. Laying out tools are used to mark or lay out straight, curved, and even irregular lines on the metal or workpiece. First laying out tool is the steel rule. It is the most common and important tool in laying out works. It is used similar to a ruler. Although it is primarily called a measuring instrument, it is very indispensable for taking measurements not requiring precision. Second is the tri-square, which consists of a beam and blade mounted at a 90 degree angle with each other. This is used to check the squareness of a small material for projects in Automec. Third is the scriber or scratch owl. This tool is used to scratch or scribe the metal for markings. It is normally paired with the tri-square when used in order to produce straight line markings. Another laying out tool in the list is the divider. It has two pointed steel legs attached to the top with a spring adjustment. It is used for measuring distances between points then transferring measurements directly from the rule. It can also be used like a compass to create or scratch a circular pattern on metals like sheet metal. Another main category of tools is the cutting tools and processes. These tools are also essential during creation of projects at Automec. These are tools or devices that are used to remove, cut, or trim parts on a particular workpiece. First cutting tool is the hacksaw. It is a versatile and tough frame saw that is used to cut almost every kind of metal there is. Tips on replacing the blade of a hacksaw. Always look up for the arrow marker or indicator in the blade. The arrow indicator means the blade should be connected to the front pin. Tighten or fix the blade to the hacksaw by tightening the screw and nut located at the front pin. Another tip, when using the hacksaw, never saw using two hands on the handle grip. Also, avoid inclining the hacksaw during sawing. Always make sure to use both hands. The dominant hand should be used in holding the handle while the supporting hand should be holding the frame. Doing this technique will make sawing or cutting much efficient. Another cutting tool is the tin snips, which are used like scissors to cut tin soft metals. To cut a corner, the snip should be set in such a way that the single cut will finish the corner. The bolt of the snips should be kept tight and the blades must be fitted closely against each other. Another tool that is quite similar to the tin snips is the evasion snips, which are also used for cutting tin gauge of metals. They are made in left, right, and straight versions. It may also be used in cutting sheet metals with circular layout pattern. Next, the cold chisel. It is a tool made from a hexagon or octagon shape steel. One end is shaped for cutting or marking operation, while the other is left blunt to receive the blows of a hammer. Last on our list, but probably one of the most important tool during project making at Automec. The metal file. It is a hardened steel tool for having parallel rows of teeth or cutting edges on its surfaces. The rows are usually diagonal to the edge and one end of the file is shaped to fit into handle. There are five types of files that are commonly used at Automec shop during project making. The triangular file that has three side surfaces which is ideal for filing on corners. The square file that has four sides of surfaces 
which is ideal for filing and creating a 90 degree corner. The round file that has a cylindrical shaped surface which is normally used in filing circular shapes. The flat file that has two sides of surfaces which is ideal to be used on flat and straight surfaces. And last, the half round file which one side is for filing flat and straight surfaces while the other side is ideal to be used in filing curved surfaces. Now, since all of us right now are at home during this time of pandemic, we know that these tools may not be available at your home. However, we do also have cutting tools that Pasconians may use for their DIY projects, which are the scissors and the cutter.